everyday stories of faith. Hi, my name is Ed. I'm married to Emma. We have three fabulous children who are all fast growing up. If they're not already, they all will soon be taller than me. And I'm the pastor at and part of the family uh, here at Battle Baptist Church. What was life like before you decided to follow Jesus? I grew up in a Christian home, Christian parents, um, me and my uh, two sisters, I was in the middle, still am in the middle, and um, we were part of a local church, uh, went along regularly from an early age, you know, Bible, God, faith, Jesus, all of that was part of life. But it was my parents' faith. I wasn't against it or, or anti-Christianity uh, or anything like that, but it was very much theirs and not mine. When and why did you choose to follow Jesus? I can't give you an exact date as to when I decided to follow Jesus. Um, so I grew up in the church, enjoyed Sunday school and being a part of the activities and gathering on a Sunday. I do remember though a, a specific time, a, um, there was a midweek club called the Victory Gang that my parents and others from the church helped to run. It was kind of after school club in the village hall in Gunners Lake where we lived down in Cornwall. And I can remember this, this illustration that was um, shown one evening. Someone had laid out a rug and they were kind of throwing um, sawdust uh, and dirt and stuff on this rug, uh, making it very messy. And someone was coming along with a hoover and just completely uh, sucking it all up, completely clearing it all away. And it's always stuck with me as this kind of, this image uh, of what Jesus does, uh, what he did on the cross, what he does for us, uh, and that opportunity for us to decide to follow him. So uh, I was around kind of six or seven, I think, when I first actually made that set of prayer, made that choice uh, to get to know him. Um, a date I can give you, though, is the 15th of February 1991. That was the, the day that I was baptised, uh, baptised by immersion, but more so baptised as a believer. Um, even though my dad was an elder in the church, um, I had to go and meet with the other elders and, and share why it was that I wanted to be baptised, what it was that, that made a difference for me, um, the choice that I wanted to make. and. I can still remember that evening uh, when I was baptised. Um, I think I had a, a, an orange t-shirt on. Um, uh, I can remember some of the other people who were baptised and just that, that statement, that, that personal declaration of what I believe. This was no longer something that was just my parents or that I was being just, just brought along in, but no, it was a choice, a decision uh, that I had made and that I wanted to live my life in the light of. What difference does following Jesus make? Well, it should make a, a massive difference. And it, it did make a difference for me. Uh, deciding to, to follow Jesus uh, meant I, well, sort to live my life in a, in a different way. Not that I was really bad before then. Um, I got up to a few things probably one shouldn't do. Um, but it wasn't about being different, but actually it was the fact that there was a better way to live. And as I grew and kind of went through life through the ups and the downs, the difference having Jesus was that well, he was there every step of the way. You know, I make mistakes. I let people down. Uh, I say I'll do something I had not always manage to follow through with it. With Jesus, he is faithful and trustworthy and we can rely on him no matter what. And without a doubt, the decision to say yes to him, to decide to follow him, to seek to live my life uh, with him is uh, without a doubt the greatest decision I have ever made. What's your story?